In today's video, we're going to look at some of the possible pipes and tubes that you can use with the one inch pro connectors. Let's get into it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake and if this is your first time here, we share weekly videos all about build inspiration, tips and tricks, hacks and other creative uses of ordinary materials, all so you can finish your DIY projects. If you like seeing videos like that, then definitely consider subscribing, we appreciate it. A while back we shared a pipe sizing guide that explored the different possibilities for the standard connectors. We found some cool things that work with the standard connectors like copper and PVC pipes. With the launch of the new Pro system, we wanted to see what was possible with the bigger connectors and update the community on our findings. Of course, the Pro connectors work with one inch EMT conduit right out of the box. And I bet you're thinking, oh, so any one inch diameter pipe will work, no need to watch the rest of the video, but wait, that's not the case. The one inch in the name is not the actual outside diameter of one inch EMT conduit. This is what's known as the trade size. Across electrical and plumbing, the trade sizes of pipes can mean all kinds of different things, but they really don't apply to DIYers who are looking to make a structure or some kind of build. If you're looking to build with pipes and connectors, all you really need to know and pay attention to is the outside diameter of the pipes that you want to use in your project. In today's video, we're going to look at a few different options that we've found for the Pro Connectors, and I'm going to give you some tips on how you can explore solutions for your own projects. You'll be surprised at how many readily available pipes and tubes that you have at your local stores. This is great for builders because it means you have a lot of options and can get the right solution for your specific project. With that being said, let's look at the readily available pipes and tubes that we know work with the Pro Connectors. First and foremost is 1 inch EMT conduit. We love conduit because it offers great strength while still being easy to work with and affordable for projects. You can also use 3 quarter inch EMT conduit if you pick up some of these inexpensive adapter shims from our site. These are going to be perfect for builders that want to mix 1 inch and 3 quarter inch EMT conduit in their projects. The Pro Connectors come with a pre-applied friction band that add extra grip onto 1 inch EMT conduit connection but you can also use them to adapt the connectors to other pipes. You can build with one inch type L copper pipes if you use a heat gun to add a single friction band onto the desired connection points. These pipes are kind of expensive, but they do look cool with the silver connectors and might make a great accent piece in your build. If you remove the friction bands completely, you can build with any pipe that has an outside diameter of one and a quarter inches. My local store was out of metal pipes with this diameter, but I did pick up some of this one and a quarter inch wooden dowel as an example. If you need a place locally, you might check around for a metal supply store. Whenever we were in Arizona, we found one of these places and they had a ton of available pipe sizes. We're adding a new shim to the website that's a lot thinner than the one we looked at earlier. We're excited to offer these new shims because they're going to open up a lot of great possibilities for your projects. You might be wondering why we'd recommend other pipes besides conduit, and it's because our mission is for you to finish your project exactly how you imagine it. Sometimes this means other pipes are going to be a better solution for you. The first option with these new shims is 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipes. This is exciting because PVC is a great lightweight building material that can be useful in a lot of ways. Normally whenever you build with PVC, you need to use the corresponding fittings and the glue for a strong connection. Whenever you use the glue, you can't easily tear apart the build if you want to change it or store it. However, whenever you use Maker Pipe with PVC, you can get a strong connection that can be loosened easily and changed or reused. 3 quarter inch Schedule 30 structural pipe along with 3 quarter inch galvanized, black iron, and rigid conduit are all strong steel pipes that you can find at your local home improvement or hardware store. With the new shim, you can use the Pro Connectors with all four of these pipe options. All four of these pipes are more expensive than 1 inch EMT conduit, but they do offer great possibilities. Imagine part of your build needs a really strong and reinforced section of pipe that EMT conduit just doesn't solve. Instead, you can substitute one of these other pipes into your build and add that extra strength. Another exciting thing that you can do with these steel pipes is get an off the shelf coupler and thread them in to create a strong joint connection and then build off of those pipes with the Pro Connectors. The great thing is you don't have to use the substituted pipe for the entire build. You can use them strategically and combine them with the EMT conduit to finish off your build. I also want to remind you of a cool thing to keep an eye out for in your projects. We've had a lot of builders in the community combine the standard connectors with round objects like boat canopies and wheelchair legs. The Pro Connectors will natively connect to any pipe that has an outer diameter of 1.162 inches. Of course, you can use some of the shims or methods that we mentioned today to connect to other pipes or round objects. Just remember to pay attention to the outside diameter and not necessarily the trade size. We're really excited to see all the builds and projects that the community comes up with using different pipes and tubes. If you want to see the possibilities for the standard connectors, then check out this video here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.